On a longer fighter sortie, it's going to be important to stay hydrated and be able to go to the bathroom and use a urinary relief device in the jet. So I'm going to talk to you about how I do that today in an F-16. I think the F-16 is a little bit more difficult due to the decline seat, so we're going to go over my techniques and procedures in order to get that done. The first thing I'm going to do is set the autopilot. That'll just give me a little bit more freedom to maneuver inside the jet and hopefully still watch uh, my altitude, my airspeed, and my heading to stay in formation with my flight lead. This is the one that I use uh, most successfully throughout the last 15 years. I will put this part, the aft edge of it, hard against my body so that I can ensure that there's no leakage or spillage from the urine and it all gets in the back. I'll hold on to the front of the bag just like this where my thumb is on the inside and gives me good ability to hold it in place. The next part is I'll just make sure that it's opened up uh, and so that I know the urine is going to go collect in the bag successfully. We're in a trainer right now so my harness is not actually connected to the seat but you'll still have the freedom to maneuver as I'm going to show you in a second. I'm going to push against the rudder pedals and I'm going to lift my butt up off of the seat slightly, maybe about four inches, so that I can get the piddle pack to hang down straight so again, I don't have any kinks in the bag that are going to block the urine flow. Next, I'm going to unzip my zipper and I'm going to kind of maneuver things out of the way so that I have the ability to put the bag in place. I'm going to move my underwear just to the side so again that I have a nice good seal against my body and the piddle pack. This aft part is going to be what's touching most against my body and this front third is actually going to be free because my finger is going to be holding it in place. Hopefully you can see that I'll get the piddle pack in place. Check that the bag is hanging straight, that there's no kinks and pushing hard against my body where you can probably see a little bit of a gap there between my shorts and the piddle pack. And now I'm going to go to the bathroom in the jet. My airspeed should be set, but sometimes I may have to move my hand over to the right here so that I can make sure my heading uh, and my attitude stay in place as I'm flying formation. Once I'm done, I'm going to give it a second, make sure there's no drippage, uh, and then I'm going to pull the bag out, put it in a resealable plastic bag, zip it up, and then put it back away so that I can go continue on. Kick off the autopilot and begin flying again. Definitely takes a little bit of practice just with the flight suit and the piddle pack, so I'd recommend you try it over a toilet the first few times, and good luck. I hope you found this video informational and now have more comfort and confidence about the equipment available for your use to keep you hydrated, comfortable, and in the fight.